Hello, good morning and salutations, my loves. Today, I'm gonna to be going to the high mountains to the giant redwoods. I'm gonna spend some time with nature, commune with the trees, and I'm gonna be burying some magic. I've got magic of my own and magic from other clients. It's gonna be super, super epic. I can't wait. I don't know, does anybody else see the face in that rock? It's completely got like some smug expression on its face. That's crazy. Smug ass rock. What? This is crazy. Giant tree. You can't see all the way up though. It gets dark up there. The burl is something that lives in the tree and it's kind of like a, it, it, this one's like a parasite. Okay. So when you take this burl and you, you cut it, so this really wild grain. Yeah. You sand this, it comes out looking, wow. Oh, wow. It's really amazing. You have the redwood burl, there's, Buckeye burl tables, and it's a, um, you know, it's a. So I got to find out that burrows are infections and they can start in the root system, typically they do, or they can start um, higher up in the tree if like a bug got into it or somebody took a chainsaw to it. And basically this infection just grows, but people actually harvest this to make furniture out of. It's illegal to do so, but they are sure cool looking to see in person. Go an adventure with me. Yeah. Careful it's because of my pants. No, turn around just a little bit to your left. No, right here. Oh. Wow. All that burl, all that craziness in there? Yeah. That's, that's part of it. There's people have been walking on this thing a lot. Oh, yep, yeah, and there's the burl right there. Whoa. It makes such a nice bed when you put your tent down on stuff like this because it's just, you just get the big sticks away and you just, you just sink right in it. Oh, wow. But they have crawdads here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what you call it has There's crawdads a shot too. Of that um, epic tree from the Mammoth outside. Pool. And I found a fairy door. And no, before you ask, I did not knock. I didn't want to disturb anybody. This one fell over. The weight of one of these trees is most, I don't know how you weigh it. See, there's a burl right there. There's a big one. Oh, that thing right there is a burl? Yeah. So that's what makes those cool patterns on yeah. trees? Yeah, it's actually joined the two trees. That's... Let's get a bigger shot on this. There's one of those things my stepdad was talking about, a burl. Walking through the trees, we're walking through the trees. As you please, as you're walking through the trees. Just a little ham time for myself, trying to take a selfie with the forest. Eee. Here are the couple of the epic shots I took with the light just coming in absolutely perfect. This forest is beautiful. You can feel the love. It gives it back. 
If you're somebody who's stupid enough to actually pick the mushrooms, I suggest don't do it, because by the look of them, they're extremely poisonous, so they warn you not to, but I mean, if you're that dumb, survival of the fittest. And we have here a banana slug. Look at him go. Look at these big air pockets and when you when you put the thing right close to it, it'll peel its head back and open up these breather holes so it can breathe and freak out and scream. Really? Yeah. It'll scream? Yeah, they're pretty sensitive creatures. I don't want to make it scream, but I'm kind of, kind of interested. Man, the feeling of what it's like to be around these trees is just epic. These little kids came and they're being all loud now, but for a long time it was just really, really quiet around here. Um, there's a bunch of spots where there's nice little bits of river running through and it's just super serene. These trees are so old. They're so old and they're so tall. They've been here forever. They know so much. They've seen so much. Like, can you imagine? Some of these trees have been here before Columbus, so it even settled in America or anything like that. So it's like, wow. They have seen it all. And some of them have um, lightning strikes, which is pretty crazy because the tree literally burnt from the inside out and the outside of the tree is intact, but the inside's all burnt out hollow. That's pretty crazy. This has been an incredible experience. I absolutely love this. I love being here. Um, I definitely say go visit the Redwoods. It is worth it. I'm going to leave you now with some of the beautiful pictures I took of this awesome forest. I highly suggest checking it out for yourself. This was in Big Basin, and that's in California. Um, please like and subscribe, but honestly, whether you like or not, it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep making these videos, even if I'm the only one watching them, so there's that. But, um, yeah, get to commune with your nature, get to love it, and if you want to see a walking through nature with no talking, I'm going to have the full length of the streams on the rivers that I saw. Alright, love you all so much. Talk to you later. Bye.